teacher talk and sports what it does what it do how we live in entering the all-star break the reigning champion denver nuggets had lost three straight games so did not enter the all-star break with a bang but boy have they since the all-star break as they've won three straight now two of those are against bottom feeders uh, the Wizards and the Trailblazers, but yesterday they beat a team with numerous rings of late, that being the Golden State Warriors, who have been playing much better of late, and Denver did it on the road with a 119-103 win. Who has been on an absolute heater since the All-Star break ended? Well, only the two-time MVP, the reigning finals MVP. Probably the three-time MVP when the time comes after this season. Nikola Jokic, you see in his 37 minutes, 13 of 24 from the field, 32 points, 16 rebounds, 16 assists. He even threw in four blocks for good measure, plus 20, so minus four. The 11 minutes he wasn't on the court, um, you know, his on-off split is always incredible every season and the Nuggets have improved to 39 and 19 this is via Jack Maloney of CBS Sports all the numbers you need to know from Nikola Jokic's historic three-game stretch to bolster MVP case so yes since his since the all-star break three games he's averaging 27.3 points 16.7 rebounds and 15 assists uh so it mentions uh that he should also shooting 68.6 percent from the field in that span he had a 10 for 10 game against the wizards uh 80 50 45 so he's the second player in nba history to at least reach 80 points 50 rebounds 45 assists in a three-game span joining wilt chamberlain who did it in march of 1968 so only 56 years ago um 14 he's um fourth in a league 9.3 assists per game fourth in potential assists per game 14.8 now the first player in nba history with at least 14 rebounds and 14 assists in three consecutive games i get 14 is kind of cherry picking a number but i mean still incredibly impressive 30 15 15 Third career game with at least 30 points, 15 rebounds, 15 assists. Moved them past Wilt Chamberlain, who had two for the second most such games in NBA history. Only the big O, Oscar Robertson, with 11, had more. Uh, that was Jokic's 139th career triple-double, including the playoffs. Passing LeBron James, only behind Russell Westbrook, Oscar Robertson, and Magic Johnson. Yeah, we take a look at those three box scores. Uh, game logs since the All-Star break. 10 for 10, 12 for 17, 13 to 24 from the field. Even seven steals in that stretch. Just extraordinary play for Jokic since the All-Star break. Is he the clear favorite to win his third MVP? I believe so. I mean... You gotta show some love to guys like Shea Gilgis Alexander and Luka Doncic. Of course, uh, the 65 game minimum will take some guys out of play, like a Joel Embiid. But even without that, you know the way you. Jokic is playing especially after the all-star break and I mean all season I think that was his 19th assist on the 19th triple double of the season I think that's one shy of DeMontis Sabonis for the league lead in the NBA uh, but by the time his career is over there's a good chance he's going to have over 200 regular season triple doubles um, and would be the all time triple double king. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.